Hi, I'm Stephen, and you're watching Stephen Love Science Home Edition. Clocks have been around to measure time for thousands of years, and they have been made of many different materials, including stone in sundials and steel in watches. But a clock can also be made from molecules that react at a different rate from the time they are mixed to the time a reaction occurs. This is known as a clock reaction. And in this episode, we will be replicating the classic I die clock reaction using easy, safe home alternatives. For this demonstration, you will need 30% drugstore variety hydrogen peroxide, liquid laundry starch, in this case aerosol form, vitamin C tablets, and a tincture of iodine. You will also need three clear, three clear cups and something to measure with. We are going to start by taking 1,000 milligrams of the vitamin C tablet, placing them in a plastic bag, and using a heavy spoon to crush them into a fine powder. You are then going to add all of this powder into a cup. Then to the cup, Add 60 milliliters or 2 ounces of lukewarm water. Stir vigorously with a spoon for 30 seconds. Do not worry if the solution is still clumpy or it is cloudy and difficult to see through. We will call this solution A. Now, Using measuring spoons, take one teaspoon or five milliliters of solution A and place it into a new cup. Then to the new cup, add another 60 milliliters of lukewarm water. Also, Add 5 milliliters of your tincture of iodine. Be careful when pouring the tincture of iodine or opening the bottle because it stains skin. Notice that your iodine has gone from brown to clear. Don't worry as this is to be expected. Now, we will call this solution B. Now take your last cup and add to it 60 milliliters of lukewarm water. One tablespoon or 15 milliliters of your 3% hydrogen peroxide. And then add one half a teaspoon or 2.5 milliliters of your liquid laundry starch. Now for this, um, what I did was I sprayed out the liquid laundry starch into a cup and waited for the foam to cease. Now we are finally done preparing our solutions and are ready to see the demonstration. Now pour liquid B into liquid C. And watch what happens. As you may have noticed, our solution went from clear to dark blue. Now stay tuned until the end of this video to see proper disposal procedure. Now some of you may be wondering what just happened. So let's explore the chemistry of clock reactions. Now some of my brighter audience members may have already picked up on the fact that there are actually two reactions occurring simultaneously. The first is the iodine ion in the iodine tincture is being oxidized by the hydrogen peroxide to yield elemental iodine in water. This reaction is occurring very slowly and unfortunately there's a second reaction that is trying to reverse the steps of the first reaction and that is the vitamin C tablet is reacting with the elemental iodine formed in the first reaction and reducing it back 
to the iodine ion, which is colorless in the presence of starch. But once the starch goes blue, that means that the vitamin C has been completely consumed and the starch shows the presence of elemental iodine. So that we will see the proper disposal of elemental iodine. Elemental iodine can be dangerous and toxic, so we must dispose of it properly. In a flask, take solution A that we made earlier in the video. Solution A is the water and the vitamin C tablets and add your iodine mixture. As you will notice, this mixture immediately goes clear, indicating that the iodine has been reduced back to iodine ions, which are safe for you to dispose down the drain. Thanks for watching. Please tune in for another Stephen Home Science video. Okay, so just a couple notes that I forgot to put in um, when I was filming. Um, what you saw was a demonstration, and there, not an experiment, but you could make it an experiment by trying to find out what different factors would um, affect the rate at which the vitamin C tablet was consumed. So in other ways, what speeds up this reaction? You could say, does heat speed up this reaction? Will um, more vitamin C tablets speed up this reaction? There are a number of different experiments that you can design to... Um, see what variables influence the rate at which the reaction occurs. This um, demonstration is mainly used to introduce rate laws to chemistry, which we'll get to in other videos. Um, so, for example, my reaction pre proceeded rather, slow, rather, rather quickly because um, the room I was in was very hot. I was in my garage, and there's no air conditioning, so the liquids were very hot and it it went very quickly but you could say well what if I cool the liquid to this temperature how will that affect the um, rate of the reaction so there's a number of different ways that you can turn this demonstration into a very interesting experiment but um that's all thanks for watching bye